I need to get into our Subnautica zone. And yeah. There we go. Oh, oh. I've kind of I've kind of damaged the aquarium a little bit. All right. All right. All right. It's a little broken. It's a little broken. <laughs> Move this off to the side. And let's get back into Subnautica below zero. <clears throat> let's see. Where did we leave off? So I know we had we had built the truck. We have gotten, I think, the depth module, the first one. Um, I think I got the stuff for a prawn suit. Uh, what else? I know there is where that woman in the big prawn suit dove down, but I think I needed to get the Mark II upgrade, uh, to be able to die, to continue that further. Um... I think we just kind of need to, I need to quickly double check where our hex tree is and our list of things to build. I know, like, materials wise, I, we kind of need uh, magnesium so I can build the range extenders and, and some of the other higher tech um, to really make our scanning rooms make sense. We also got the architect, the artificial intelligence, has downloaded itself into our wrinkly, wrinkly brain, which is not wanted. So we need to find various architect um, stuff. Right. I need to find clippings. Yeah, yeah, this is quite spooky. Very spooky. Um, metal salvage. Right. Bronze suit jet upgrade. Rather. So I need spiral plant. That's right. We need the spiral plant to get the synthetic. So yeah, so we need to find a spiral plant to get our mark, our depth upgrade or sea truck depth upgrade to make further progress. Um, the prawn suit we can make. Can we make a power cell? We can, we can make a power cell. Right, but do we have the drill arm? No, I think we did find the... Okay, we did find the drill arm. Um, lithium. Do we have lithium? Hold on. Um, do 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 Base for later. Oop, oops. Uh, what's in our storage? Right, pipes. Let's rename this. I said I wanted to rename it. Wow. Pipes. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I should maybe get some bladder fish and make some more... Wawa. Uh, we're also going to need some fish to throw in the bioreactor back at base. Let's go ahead and grab a few of those. Ah, it's mapped in my way. It's important to stay hydrated. You can't outswim a leviathan with shriveled up muscles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Oh, King Shuttle, no. Oxygen. They see me spin, 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 and I go, go, go. 
<laughs> fill out the fill out the aquarium. Yeah, I need like the I need like the the Flintstones little like running sound effect. Yeah, but that but Rolling around at the speed of snack. <laughs> I gotta go fast. Uh huh. All right. All right. We are good on water. Uh huh. So we do have Architect Artifact, we can visit. What is base for later? I don't remember base for later. All right. Let's go check on base for later real quick. I don't remember what that was. Now, even though I have the prawn suit, though, like, I would have to be walking around with it. And I haven't really seen a lot of things to drill. Hold on. What is this? This kind of looks... Nope. I thought that was going to be Spiral Coral, but it was not. Stretch? Oh, that felt good. Thank you. Uh, thank you, King Shadow. And where's that dang Spiral Coral? All right, boop boops. Base for later. Help! Help! Ah! On the way there. On the way there. On the way where? Thanks for the recent inscription, Ossieland. It's never necessary, but it is always appreciated. I hope you're having a good evening. Uh, we can't like launch ourselves out of the water. That's disappointing. That was one of my favorite things to do with the uh, ships in the first game. They just hold space bar and just shoom. Uh, pace for later. Pace for later. No, not in the best of moods. Evening went crap pretty quickly, but now I have cats. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry things went that way, but I hope, I hope things will find you on the upswing. Thanks for stopping on by. Oh, base for later was the, the base to visit later. All right, let's turn that off. All right, to boop boops. Spiral coral. Probably need to go looking around for more biomes to find spiral coral because it wasn't even showing up on the scanning room over here. Of course, the alien, the architect artifact is another major waypoint. What are you? Have I scanned you? The fuck are you? Discus fish. Well, you're in my hands now. New creature discovered. You said it. Warning: passing 100 meters. Oxygen Tree spire. I see. Wait, I thought that was one of those iguana fish. It is not. 
All right, I need you to stay the fuck away. Uh, where's my ship? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, we're just gonna not go that way. I think that's a, I think that's a good idea. We just kind of go around because that's not a spiral coral. Could this somehow be related to spin somehow? Hmm. Some kind of metal ear. Ear. Oticon, what's the situation? Actually, can I also... Did I check for Sea Truck Death Module? Ron Suit Storage. Is there a Sea Truck Storage? There is. I just haven't unlocked it. Cool, great, amazing, fantastical. Love that, but not really. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, right, the squid shark. The squid shark that I built my base next to. That squid shark. Fuck off! Leave me alone! This little fridge is, seems significantly less agile than, than a sea moth. Yeah! Yeah, it does. I don't have that open. I will fix that momentarily. One second. Hold on. We need to park so we can recharge. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production. Right after I throw these fish in the reactor. There we go. Power restored. All primary systems online. There we go. Uh, where is the shortcut to the throwing system? Into the bioreactor. Yeah, yeet. All right, and then let me refund that. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, I'll do. Uh, I'll do. Uh, I'll, do uh, I'll do a compensatory fistful for you. Uh oh, it's it's using power as fast as I get power. Love that. <laughs> Still throws me off so bad that the program is actually called tits. Yeah. It's funny, hee hee ha ha's, but it makes it a pain in the ass to like search for any issues. So you kind of can only search on the program itself and it's just exhausting. Parentally exhausting. Uh, let's make another wall locker. I need to dump some shit out of... Actually, could I make a thermal plant? No. Wall locker, wall locker, wall locker, 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 wall locker. I don't... Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Alright, let's get all this bullshit out. Cool. Oh, take off all your head pats. Okay. <clears throat> um, can we get to that architect artifact? I think we can. 
Have I, have I gotten one of you? Hold on. Cool. Uh, I want to put a few more things in the reactor. Oh, yeah, some uh, spotted dock leaf. Hmm. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Hmm. We've got to bring the stuff you asked him to bring. I don't know. Always send reminders. The fuck is that? Oh, it's an aquarium module fragment. All right. Cool, cool, I guess. Ah. All right, let's see what this alien architect artifact might be about. We scanned one in the base for later. I don't know how many we might have to scan. I see. Ah, ah, fuck you, fuck off. Gotta be fucking squirting me here! Fuck you, I'm taking your food. New creature discovered. Arrow ray? Oh hell yeah. Love me a good ray. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Fucking show you 30 seconds of oxygen. Get over here, newt fish. You're mine. Oxygen. Oxygen. <laughs> hey, you kind of need to breathe. Need that lithium, it's right there. I might as well just grab it. Uh, significant geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. Under pressure! Docking module? Hey, hey yo. Dive, dive, dive! Dive, dive, dive! Uh, we're almost at 300. Uh, this is a problem. Yeah, we can't go down there. We need the upgrade. Fuck. Fuck. These guys would look a lot like Hard Light Afterburner from Risk of Rain. Hmm. They make me think more of the, uh, um, the Greater Spirit boss, where it does, uh, the, the, the bunch of, uh, pillars of flame. Sleeper module? Well, we better not sleep on that. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, yeah. Heard you the third time. Greater Wisp. That's what its name is. Ah! I can't believe you've done this to me, Chimera. You take me into the void. 
I drink the water. To go put the water somewhere else five water. minutes Why later. Would you all do hours this? of the day, all hours of the night, no matter what I'm doing, my life is interrupted by piss. Thanks a lot, Chimera. I'm just interrupting my life with piss. You take it with your head pats. Alright, I saw a booster upgrade. What is getting boosted? Ah. I need a high capacity O2 tank. How oh, can I even make a high capacity? You know what? We probably need to. It's probably in the modification station. Hold on. I need to put that on my. Things to construct. Modification station. Right next to the conjunction junction. Uh, Drakey, there's the modification station. Uh, I don't, do I not have it? Hold on. Hold on, I'm going, I'm losing my mind here. Not like I had much to begin with. There it is. Blueprints. Electronics, food and drink equipment, machines, vehicle upgrades, scanner room, da -da -da -da, base pieces. Exterior, interior modules. Yeah, I can do that. <clears throat> Morning. I think of ancient wisps. There's lesser, or greater, and ancient wisps possible. Oh right, I forgot. The greater ones are the the big green ones that fuck me up. They explode into tire ones. Interrupting wisp ad starts. <laughs> also, sorry, I really like Rusty Ray. Never apologize for what you're passionate about. Risk of Rain certainly is a pretty good game. I actually never really fired up Risk of Rain 2. I kind of preferred the game as a 2D side scroller, uh, which is why when Risk of Rain Returns came out, I did pick that up. Um, I haven't played it much of late, to be honest. I still need to unlock everything. Don't even have all the characters yet. Fake Risk of Rain fan. Oh, well, it's uh, a bit dark over here. What are you? Are you an egg? Creature egg. I, we might have already gotten one of these. We'll see. Oh yeah, Returns feels great so far. Favorite character is the Sniper. I am always an acrid stan. Because <laughs> I like just infecting everyone and then running around as they all die of poisons. <laughs> Ooh. There's a hole over here. Where does this lead? It leads to nothing. It's it's just it's just a hole. You can see outside though. Turn the void. Well, welcome back. I hope you had a fun time out there. How like in this game so far? It is pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I'm not sure how long of a game it is. The, the tech progression has certainly been very different. Um, but also I am at a standstill. So I don't know if they just like rearranged when you get things or if they did make it a smaller game. I don't know. But I will be here to find out. Well, fuck me. Need to go deeper. No, 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 no. 
All right, what are you? Root pustule. Highly reactive compounds. Oh, that's probably really good for our reactive. Meters. Our reactors. Efficiency decreased. Okay. So let's see, what do we got down here? A bunch of bullshit, a bunch of bullshit. I need to keep on going down while navigating this plant forest place. Hmm. How do we go further down is going to be a constant question, methinks. There we go. We're going to do a bit of a loop to loop. This seems like a dead end. Uh, yeah. What's down here? Was that just a, it's just a loop of that. All right, so let's backtrack somewhat. See if we can find another way down. That leads us back up. Hmm. Certainly glad those little sea monkeys cannot take my shit from me. That would have been irritating. The square does not go in the oval hole. <laughs> oh. What am I down here? Warning. Passing 100 meters. Hmm. Oxygen efficiency. Gravity trap. Let's see. Ah! Stretch and hydrate. Fine. Oh, thank you for your head pad. Thank you for your boots. Uh, a gnome? Oh, what's a gnome gonna do? They can't show me the way to the alien artifact. Hmm. Ah. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe the jaguar can. Although, I don't think jaguars are known for their ocean. Ah! Oh, no! We did get a bunch of slug cats, but none of them are the rivulet! All right, I have made a mistake. Wait, I've taken damage? Oh, right, the squid. All right, so we need to find a different way to go down, I think. Cause I don't think all of that, uh, those branches were the right way. What is a gnome? A miserable pile of dexterity. But enough talk. Woo. You play Rain World again? Rain World is always worth spinning up again. Oh man, you got some trucky dogs. You've got the oh god! Oh oh jeez! There's so much stuff going on. Okay, we got a rivulet now, but now we have some soggy We have some soggy drucky dogs and uh, 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 a soggy drucky uh, uh, cookie. Uh man. Oh no, an artificer, no! Get out of the water, artificer, no! <laughs> Alas, I cannot save the artificer. I have been yeeted. I have been yote. Okay, so... I need some food. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Come here. Come here. Jeepers, peepers, where'd you get grilled peepers? Totally not biased to Spear Master, what do you mean? <laughs> Spear Master was definitely really fun. Um, I, it was really irritating though, that you give me the ability to dual wield, and then your main campaign has me 
carrying a pearl in my hand like some sort of philistine absolutely rude for me spear bastard wins first in their category but it's my favorite overall doesn't win first in any category oh I mean, I'm biased to Artificer. Um, you might notice for for some some there might be some hints. <laughs> Cooked newt fish. It does newt taste good. God's damn it. That's a good pun. Vital signs stabilizing. All right, um, how are we on eggs? All right, we already have this egg, so I'm just going to drop it. I found the Comet Spear fun. Already was your first favorite, but quickly became Spear Master because of the dual wielding. Is that a Pingu reference? No, no. I mean, it is called a Newt fish. You know, they named it, not me. Saint, though. Saint is a special bean. They are, um, different. That is Osho. All right. <clears throat> Um, not a lot of... Where's the f***ing bladder fish? Oops. I didn't do it. Right. Uh, the architect artifact. All right, let's try and do it. What's the axolotl slug cat? Looks super cute. Uh, the rivulet? The, the blue one with the pink little, like, whisker looking things? Rivulet is really fun to watch, uh, speedrunners, because Rivulet is just speed. Yes, Rivulet is the axolotl. Ooh, we found a PDA. Ah, jeez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low on flares, and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kinda cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. Raccoons of the sea. What the fuck is this? The floating arrow? Nani the fuck? Interesting. Huh. Camp-wise, eh. Probably doesn't help you have a phobia of deep water inspires. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be a problem. Like someone put a thing out. What are you? Hold on. What are you? Have I scanned you? I don't think I've scanned you. Symbiote. Symbiote? Huh? Uh, not alien data. Indigenous life forms. Fauna. Scavengers and parasites? No. Herbivores small? Carnivores? Nests inside the hole of the titan hole fish and defends them. Interesting. In campaign for Gorman was uh, only didn't sport four hours of shaded. 
Yeah, Gourmand doesn't have the best starting place. So made the Lethal Company act Arachnophobia mod in Rain World. He's how it looks. Um, there is where it just says spider. That is pretty funny. There is actually a um a really good phobia mod for Rain World. I think it's called Keep That Thing Away From Me. Um, that has it can remove any combination of creatures to um smooth out any issues. And it has a bunch of presets. Um, for specific phobias, so you don't have to go through and manually click on, like, every specific creature of whatever kind that doesn't, uh, jive for you. Also really good whenever you want to record clean footage of Rain World, because you can just disable all creatures. Just a spawn control mod, not the best solution. I mean, it certainly is a guaranteed way to not deal with uh, whatever that entity is. How do I get the fuck down there? Because, like, if you have um, issues with insects and you replace centipedes with the word centipede, like how Lethal Company does, it has the arachnophobia mod. Like, it, I, I, I struggle to imagine how effective, like, the hitbox is going to be of uh, 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 a centipede. That spider's areas like struts are completely free of almost all threats. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I'm always a fan of just making things more accessible. I don't, I don't really see too much harm in, in disabling the spawns of some things. Replace spider spawns with lizards. Sure, I feel I feel like that would that's going to be a lot more nuanced of an overall solution. However, especially when you factor in different slug cats having different spawns, um, certainly is possible. But it it raises the the difficulty and the the development slash bug fixing of such a solution. Whereas just removing the spawns is very straightforward, simple, and won't have to really worry about um, missing anything or like break. Well, you remove scavengers, uh, you'll have a hard time as artificer, but it does have warnings like, hey, you're playing artificer and you don't have scavengers. You're going to brick yourself. Consider I have a higher likeliness of harder enemies to show up anyway because the Apex mod Munispur is on almost any campaign. Ooh. Swapping spawns is as easy as editing a text file. Sure, but balancing them is more so. How many lizards to a spider? Actually, I'm going to need some more copper, I think. Miro's Vultures. Yeah, I've only ever killed one Miro's Vulture, and that's because it was with Saint. Saint? Uh, Spearmaster. And I got it stuck in one of the communication balls that the oranges hang out in. And I was just going back and forth in a pipe. I would go through a pipe, hit double spirit, go back through the pipe, and just keep going back and forth until I killed it. Playing Seda as much as you have learned how to avoid combat really well, even with starvation. Yeah, figuring out that Saint could not do combat at all was certainly interesting. I'm like, ah, oh, Saint really doesn't have a very strong throwing arm. That's kind of weird. And it's like, 
Oh. Oh. Hmm. Although, arguably, Saint goes from pacifist to harm, harm, harmist, uh, pretty quickly. Not sure how Rain World works, but having the wrong enemy in the wrong area can break a lot of stuff in most games. I mean, I don't think it's too bad because the behavior logic of enemies is generally inside the enemy itself, I think. So just straight up having them in a different area isn't too bad. I don't know. I ain't no modder. Digging around in the rain world files makes me cross-eyed sometimes. All right. Hmm. Is there even anything down there? Oh, it is the way down here, just to... Alright. No! That's annoying. I just needed to get out of my dang thing and swim down to it. I should have guessed. It was pretty darn close. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Gift of the sea monkey. Change their tune. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. Wait, did a sea monkey bring me something? I don't see anything. Hmm. New Saints Lack of Combat because originally it was separate from the game entirely, having a few fallbacks, such as if you die, your playthrough resets. They have since then very heavily balanced him, but added his name Pancat. Yeah. Pancat, aka Inv, aka uh, uh, Enot, aka uh, Sophantheal. I don't know. I have no intention of ever playing them. Uh, that. That kind of stuff, that kind of difficulty is not something I find fun. And some of the things it does to regions would be actively painful to stream. Like the area that's just like Garrett, like everything is just red. It's just an eyesore. Um, no, thank you. I am okay. I'm surprised to find out Saint was supposed to be hard. I learned so much about stealth from Survivor and Gourmand. Saint felt underwhelming. I mean, I got so used to fighting, it was hard to not have that in my toolkit. It also didn't help that I got turned around a lot because the map is very different. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. What to do next? I think we should make our station. So I'm going to need lithium. Let's take the silicone with us. Um... I need the brain. What do I need for a computer chip? Uh, I need cable coral, gold, copper wire. All right, so we got all that. I need one more table coral. This is why I stocked up on a bunch. Tank can use nades. Ah. Oh, I stored the copper wire in... God damn it, Drecky. All right. Fine. We'll go all the way over there. Um, I need lead. 
So let's keep an eye out for some. So we head back over to Boop Boops. We'll build the modification station. We'll check to see if we can make uh, anything with it, especially that high capacity oxygen tank. We can't, then we'll just have to wait until we unlock that before we can do more with the booster. Um, after that, because we don't have anything major waypoint wise, I think we will try and poke around for more biomes to see if we can find that spiral coral. Um, we're going to need some of that. Uh, I also want to keep an eye out for lithium. We need lithium in decent quantities and lead. Hints of silver, silver, copper, silver. That's copper. It's copper. It's to copper. Not saying he's able to beat our first campaign. Huh. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Who's the chieftain? Hey, Vala. Welcome on by. I mean, I have had an idea. Like, I think you can one-shot the Artificer boss with a Singularity Core. If memory serves. And I think Elite... Um, hunting parties have a chance of spawning with one of those. So I wonder you could try and get one of them to appear on the Artificer campaign. One of those silly optimization ideas. Although trying to do Artificer Story Percent is a very frustrating category. So much resetting. Very frustrating. I'm still, I'm still frustrated at an amazing run that got slagged where I went into the uh, zone that has the red centipede and that like that two zone where there's the pit, there's usually the red centipede in that area and um, the red lizard or the red centipede had gotten in a fight with a king vulture and there was a King Vulture mask lying on the ground that I was able to grab just on my way through the area, which would have set up an amazing easy climb up wall. And then I got slagged by, um, I think, I think what it was is I messed up on a jump in chimney canopy and fell into my, fell into a pit to my death. It was just the most, uh, the most unforced error, full potato shenanigans. Like, uh, I think I, I was like, all right, I'm done speed, trying to speed run Artificer for a minute. That was suffering. This kills the Artificer. That power better stop flickering. Okay, so we need a diamond and some lead. I have a diamond, don't I? There's a diamond. There's some lead. Perfect. Wait, Recycletron? Recycles items into their constituent parts. Ooh, that would actually be kind of nice. Anyway, modification station. 
build it right here. Ever tried speedrunning Rainbow Dead? I feel like you get too angry. I mean, some are better than others. Nope. Cannot make anything. I see. Hmm. I see. High capacity O2 tank. Hmm. That is a conundrum. All right, I guess we're going to make another wall locker. Need to do a little consolidation. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Drecky, Drecky, you're making this all sorts of fucky-wucky, my friend. We do not want to do with fucky-wucky. All right, okay. Let's put the table curl over here. Our officer's extremely RNG heavy, and the hardest part is the last minute of the run. Rivulet Pilgrimage is probably the best category to start on. Shorter run with very little creature RNG. Eh, Rivulet can be a little... Well, Pilgrimage... Yeah, Pilgrimage is, is probably fast. I mean, any percent is pretty... Pretty fast. Um, at least gets you through practicing the depths. At least thinking of Survivor any percent. I've done, I did, I did Survivor 100%, but I'm, I'm a silly person. I like 100% categories. More of a, more of a marathon situation. All right. Um, so nothing on the modification station. We can unpin that. Um, I do want to pin the prawn drill arm just to make sure, remind myself we need to find diamonds. We need a lot of diamonds, actually, because I don't have any. I thought I did, but now I don't. I need to repair this, don't I? Yeah, it's at 61. Button 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Most of the subterranean depths are... So the thing is, is you're not wrong. But it is a fast run. So you get a lot of quick opportunities for practicing um, a lot of different movements. Uh, especially in the depths and subterranean, it's a lot of weird geometry, has a lot of weird timing, how it messes with when you can do certain things. Um, so just doing, you know, EI hops, uh, slides, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. Um, that's the only reason why I say it might be a de decent, like, starting place just for practicing some of the movement stuff. Not like actually running it, but more like using it as a, a starting, like having a distinct goal to aim at while practicing some of the movement deck. Although I would say, I don't know if I'll ever... Data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. You must continue to investigate. Okay. 
Uh, I can't go too much further, bud. Can't get my death module. Um. Warning. Maximum death reached. Uh, Damage. CTVs, I don't think I'll ever be able to do. It's just hard for me to wrap my brain around it, and they're just so niche when they're useful. It's almost like I'd rather just simply be lucky slash not put myself in a situation where I need to use a CTV. <laughs> no matter what category you run, Rain World's not a great first speed game. I don't know. Only other game I'd ever speedrun is Valkyrie Profile, and again, 100% category. I think it's just uh, what a person wants to get out of it. And if you like a game, then you do, do what you find fun. Valkyrie Profile is an atrocious. Uh, you want to know a bad first speedrunning game? Valkyrie Profile. Uh, if you haven't been in here when I've ranted about this, uh, congratulations. Uh, you're going to get it again. Uh, Valkyrie Profile, an old PlayStation 1 JRPG, has a 30 minute tutorial slash introduction before you get to the first save point with a mix of three different ways of speeding through dialogue 30 seconds of oxygen remaining uh some dialogue you have to press a button to advance some dialogue you can hold uh the fast text and it will auto go through and some dialogue uh, we'll go character by character, and then you can press a button to advance. Detecting bow of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. This is interspersed with having to walk around and talk and do a couple combat bits, which also have a little bit of RNG. Um... And all of that is bare minimum for even the any percent run, which is a bit silly because it any percent run is funny because you basically corrupt a save file and then uh, load into a debug window and select the end credits and <laughs> and it's over. Um, if you're going for the true end, any category that uses the true ending, you're going to have another 20 to 30 minute cut, unskippable cutscene. That's just all dialogue uh, such that you can just set at a certain point, you can set down the controller and walk away. Uh, pretty good for a quick snack or uh, going to the bathroom, refilling your drinks. Um, that happens about two thirds of the way through the game. Morning. Passing 200 meters. Uh, that's why I say like any percent or 100 percent that are about two hours long is about my upper bounds. And uh, yeah, uh, that, that, that's, that's why, because that's about where Valkyrie profile sits. <laughs> Minecraft hardcore speed runs are fun to you for some reason, though to be honest, after the change of the iron ore response, it's definitely not as fun. Random fun fact, if you ran every slug cat 100%, it would take 24 hours if you matched world record pace for every slug cat. Why 24 hours? Who's taking so long? The survivor is about two hours. So I figured most of them would be in the two hour range. Oh, you're including Inv. Yeah, I would not count Inv personally. In my imagined chronology percent run, Inv would not be in it. Ooh, I know what is it? Hi, Heich. I hope you're having a good evening. Yeah, we're doing a bit of swimming. Doing a bit of shenanigans. One day I'll do the chronology percent run. I have an idea of of when might be a pro 
cut open to access? Man, fuck you. I don't want to have to fucking get the fucking blowtorch. What is this bullshit? Ooh, a power cell. That is a nice grab. Eesh. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Eesh. Eesh. A touch of the fish. What do you think below zero compared to base Subnautica? Hmm. So far, I like how it's distinguishing itself. Uh, Subnautica, the first game, went with, uh, I forget the full acronym that used to be very popular with like missed games of the faceless, genderless, culturalists, uh, agnostic, uh, adventure person. Um, this game certainly feels like it has a more cohesive story it wants to tell because we have a specific character. We have out the gates a specific goal we're trying to like that's driving us forward. You know, we find out what happened to our sister. Um, I already feel like this game has much more focus than the previous one. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, we certainly haven't gone down as much yet. Um, so I don't know how like deep we're going to go. Ah! I'm certainly feeling a little pinched on some of our resources. I do think they've done an intro. Oh, don't mind me. I think they've done an interesting job of keeping things familiar, but also different. Uh, there's like s different um, ore things uh, for us to harvest. So I feel like they've done a bit of rebalancing of materials in that way, uh, which has made things quite interesting. Um, I'm going to scan you now. Juvenile Vent Garden. Like a jellyfish. Interesting. I'm gonna go talking to your new friend and it's hard for me to pay attention to things. That is no problem, Lavender. Thanks for stopping on by and I hope you have fun. With your friends. I can't go too much deeper because I need to find some damn spiral coral. Oh, what the fuck are you? Lily paddler. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Oh. Uh, uh, what's going on? Um. The f fuck? I still have my inventory. Am I, am I drugged? Not any of the fuck. All right. Um. Hold on. Let's clear these out because they drive me a little nuts. All right. We need to look at that lily paddler. I think it's going to be herbivore large. Lily paddler. You size herbivore with an elongated bifurcated torso and multiple bioluminescent adornments. Slow and vulnerable, large arms for seed foraging on the ocean floor. Array of feather like appendages display varied colors and low light conditions. When threatened, the paddler emits a pheromonal defense that disrupts higher order brain functions in certain species. At night, the paddler's illuminated plumage looks like a school of smaller fish. Perhaps convincing predators, they're not worth the chase. I see. I like how they did below zero. I feel like they tried too hard to stick to the formula of the original. Hmm. This is only my second game session, so we'll see how things change. All right. 
That is not spot. That spiral coral. Is this spiral coral? No. No. Nothing was scannable. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Fuck. No. No. Fuck. 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 No. Don't you fucking do this to me. Don't you do this to me. Are you serious? I have been fish fucked. Oh, I spawned right back in my vehicle. All right. That's not too bad. Wait. Uh, pilot sea truck. The nearby spires are substantial thermal vent structures, hospitable to coral formation. That's nice, but are they spiral coral? All right, that is the key distinction. To finish Subnautica at some point, they did a big update last year. Yeah, Subnautica was definitely a very solid game. Extremely enjoyable. Tornado plates. All right, that's a hell of a name. Uh huh. Man, trying to find this dang spiral coral is a bugger. Oh wait! Leave me alone! Garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. I don't know, that kinda looks like a butt. Are those eyes? They could be eyes. I don't know, some creatures have eyes on their butts. You know, I'm not gonna judge. Ah! It's like three fourths through, then got your mech suit stuck. So he built another one and got that one stuck too. Oh no. Uh, when I had a, when I got stuck and lost my ship, I shamelessly save scummed because I had so much stuff stored in it, and there was so much, uh, it, it would have set me back so much. I was like, yeah, nah, I'll rather, I'd rather take like a 20 to 30 minute game loss and, uh, start again. Speaking of that, uh, let's save. Oh, I can't save. There we go. I found you could screw with the plant collision with some buildings and then got the sub stuck. Ah! Oh no! I will say I'm not sure how much I'm liking this truck compared to the first game's little uh, sea moth. Is it the sea moth or is the sea moth my... Yeah. I kind of like the sea moth. It had a very pleasing shape. It was very effective. Um, this truck thing? I don't know. I don't know about it. Oh boy, a thermal plant fragment. I don't think they had multiple slave slots when I played. Oof. Hmm, well, still no spiral coral. So our search continues. Round and round again. Don't mind me, don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Ah, fuck, it minded me! Fuck off! Go away! 
All right, fine. Like, get out of your way. I suppose this game also does have a pretty above ground presence to differentiate itself. So I should maybe look for other um, icebergs, perhaps, that we could explore. Some more whales. Um, I miss being able to just launch my my ship out of the water, get some good airtime. This one just doesn't this doesn't work the same. Doesn't work as well. Uh, I think I see some ice over this way. Nope, it's a lily pad. Hmm. What about over this way? I'm afraid of finding the map edge and learning about what is going to keep us constrained within the infinite water world that is this world. Plausibly, it's going to be another just uh, a colossal uh, ghost leviathan. They'll go, they'll go with the... Uh, Hey, there's a whole bunch of biodiversity die off because I think it's only been. Um, at minimum, like within a, a human lifespan since the first game, so like maybe a few decades at most. So it's not like it's had even though we've cured of the Kara. Um, fuck! Fucking max depth bullshit. Also, it's funny how our vehicles will hit max depth and then we'll just climb out and we'll be perfectly fine. The human body truly is a majestic uh, feature. Strength. 